What's going on, everybody? This is Mike DiMartino with Creation Talent Agency. And today I'm joined by one of the newest KTA athletes, Moorhead State alum, Jimon Henson. Jimon, what's going on, bro? Thanks for coming on this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. All right, so let's get right into it. Um, why don't you fill everybody in on what you've been up to this summer uh, during the whole quarantine period? Could be anything on or off the court, like ways you found a gym, ways you've been able to stay in shape. Yeah, when I got home from school, like March 14, that's when like COVID kind of really started hitting the USA. And, like everything in the city shut down. But I had my mentor, Derek Grant, and a couple colleagues of mine, Tasha Harris and Kyle Guy and Kate Gilbert. Uh, we always, we, we got up in the morning, like five in the morning and ran like five, five plus miles, pretty much three times a week. And we did sprint stuff. And like, we had a court, uh, like a basement to have a gym. So we did a lot of workouts there. So like, when everybody had a gym, I, I've been, I was like staying in shape and grinding like every day pretty much. And we would do like, like uh like yoga, we did yoga in the morning, early in the morning, little mentor stuff, stuff like that, just to stay mentally and physically in shape still while everybody was couldn't really get access to stuff. So we had I, I stayed in shape pretty good throughout this whole quarantine. For sure. So kind of going off that, what has your whole like training program been like? Um we've seen that you've been training with a lot of like high level pros this summer. Um who are some of those guys and what are some parts of your game that you've been working on trying to trying to improve on? Oh, it's been a pretty intense summer. Just me trying to grow to the next level, to the professional level. I uh, take a more professional approach. Uh, like every day, I take care of my body, the way I eat, the way I way my sleep, my sleeping habits, uh, my workouts. So I go about twice, two or three times every day, uh, weight training, and then I get on the court, compete a little bit, work out. Some of the guys. I train with uh, Keenan Martin, Trayvon Blewett, um, Jordan Walker. Uh, it's a handful of guys. Pat, a lot, a lot of professionals, a lot of, a lot of guys. That's hard to, just to, to name out. And who else? Yeah, it's a, it's a handful of guys I work every day. But like, I've been just trying to work on more handling the ball, more come off screen stuff like that, shooting off the dribble and creating space off that one-on-one -on -one because professional level is it's, it's almost like a one-on-one -on -one type of it's not that much help anymore because you can't see the lane like how college is so i've been trying to get get better in that area my defense more consistent just just playing more hungrier awesome so going off that for someone that you know has never seen you play before why don't you just describe your game a little bit um and maybe some pros that you model your game after you know, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? My strengths, I would say off the bat is shooting. Very good catch and, sh catch and shoot shooter. Uh, ball handling is good. Very good defender. Uh, very coachable. I can adapt and adjust to the, the style of play, whatever the coaches need. I know I can I can go out there and do very uh, – um, everybody loves me on the team. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm always talkative, uh, getting everybody involved, keeping high energy. Uh, a player that I mimic and like study is like CJ McCollum. I love his game just because me and him got the same type of build, combo guard, two guard, six four. Um, and he really know how to create his own space and that down the shot clock. And he's very smart, patient. He doesn't rush anything. He just he knows where to get to his spot and know what shots to take. So I've been watching this game a lot, especially this summer, and just trying to take little bits and pieces from his game and put it into my game. For right. sure, I, I like that comparison. Um, so let's take it back a while. You're a recent graduate, recent graduate of Moorhead State. Um, why don't you tell us about what that whole experience was like? You had a great four-year career there. Um, maybe tell us some of your best memories. Um, you know, some things that you learned there that are maybe going to stick with you throughout your your pro career and the rest of your life. Moorhead was. It was a great. I love. I love Moorhead. I know I can always go back there. It's like a. It's like a second home to me. Uh, they took me in a young, immature, just athletic guy, and just turned me into a man. Shout out to Coach Preston and the other coach, the coaching staff. But my favorite memory, it's it's a whole handful. But the one that really sticks out to me, it's not even on the court. It's when we're doing our preseason conditioning, and like we had to make a mile guards in five thirty. And the bigs and 545, and it was a, 
it was a tough task for some of the guys because some of the guys are not long distance runners, right? So right. we'll take every every week we'll run it. Uh, who doesn't make it? Got to run again next week. So we was getting out to the last week, and a few hand like a few couple guards and a uh, few bigs haven't made their time yet. So everybody who has made their time had to partner up with somebody, and we had to help them run the mile if that makes sense. So. Like when they when they was wanted to quit and when they wanted to stop and like said they couldn't go no more, that's what we had to jump in at and motivate them, keep pushing them to make that time. So we run the mile, run the mile, and guys wanted to quit, but they had their partners with them, motivating everybody, staying in their heads like you can do this. It's all mental. And then at the end of it, everybody made their time. It was like it was it was the happiest like you would thought we won the, the <laughs> national championship the way how everybody was celebrating at the end yeah. guys falling out and stuff like that so i'll say that's probably my best memory at more here because it was just so like we did that and we we helped each other and play as a team and stuff like that so that was probably my best memory and something like that is going to stick with me just for the rest of life and professional i would say cherish all the little things because they don't last forever. Like the four years I was at Morris State was going in the blinking vibe. So enjoy enjoy all the little things. Cherish everything, the, your teammates, the coaching staff, the friends and family around you. That's, that's definitely what I, I take away from Morris. Just cherish all the little things. For sure. I like that. So like I just said, you you recently graduated this past spring. Um, you're moving on to your pro career now. Currently without a team, free agent. Um, so let's talk about, you know, do you got any certain expectations for your pro career? Um, we know it, it's kind of tough if you're not really an NBA right. radar guy, um, mm -hmm. you know, the path is really tough. So what has your mindset been like, um, throughout this past summer and, and going into this fall? Uh, it's not to get too high, not to get too low. Me and Kevin talked about that earlier. Um, just keep in faith. You, your hard work will be paid off and what you've done in the dark will come to the light. So I, I've been just keeping faith in God because I know he has He has all the answers. He has my path. So I just got to trust him and just work every day. And eventually that call that, that opportunity is going to show itself. And I know I'll be ready whenever that happens. So I've just been taking it one day at a time. I see I congratulate my other guys. I'm happy for everybody. That's in my circle that, that gets that call. And if they not, we're still working every day because we believe that we know what's all going to happen. It's just, this is just a tough time right now. So just work every day and it's going to pay off. Exactly. Like do all the right things and, and good things mm -hmm. are going to happen. So we rip your um, harvest, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, what your interests are outside of basketball. Cause Kevin always talks about, you know, using basketball as a stepping stone. Um, right. So have you put any thought into, you know, any, aspirations or plans that you might have for when the ball stops bouncing you know when your pro career is over oh yeah it has I mean I think I really like grew interest lately in like real estate and stuff being like a real estate agent and stuff like that I still like want to be like a sports agent or somewhere stay around the game and stuff like that I really love what, what Kevin does and I, I can I can kind of see myself doing something like that. Just as a real competitive field, but like I just want to be able to travel. I just don't want to sit behind a, a desk and and just go off that. But real estate agents definitely been like catching my eye and something like I feel like I can pursue later on in life and just get into that. Cause that's a really it's a really good field to do, and I I like it. So I'm gonna start digging more into that as, as time goes by. Yeah, man. If you want to be a sports agent, Kevin Kevin's a good guy to learn from. Oh, know? yeah, definitely. He's, definitely. <laughs> he's a really good guy to learn from because he does it. He does it with his whole heart, and he's very motivated. Excuse me, and I trust him. Like we we've been talking for months and stuff like that. Just one day at a time, not get too high, not get too low. And he's very passionate about what he does, and that, and it shows too. So that's why I really trust trust Kevin like that. So. I yeah, definitely want to. I, I can definitely follow his lead if I do want to go that route. For sure, and I, I have no no doubt that he's gonna he's gonna take care of you and oh yeah, definitely the right fit for you uh, coming up soon. So um, you know that's about it for me. Um, who do you like in the NBA Finals? I gotta Lakers. go with Brian. Yeah, I gotta yeah. go with the Lakers. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> they just got they got too many out too many weapons out there and you know, too many vets, and Brian's too motivated. They already snubbed him for the MVP, but that's another conversation for another day. 
<laughs> but I definitely yeah. got to go with the Lakers. Especially you got? I mean, Lakers, especially with the injuries <laughs> that he with, with Bam and Dragic out. I, I don't I know. They had a little, they only had a little bit of a chance to begin with, but. When they out, yeah, it's, it's looking slim now. Yeah. All right. Well, that's about it for me. Um, do you have, you know, anything you want, you want to share to wrap it up? No, I just, I appreciate you for having me on. I thank you and I'm, I'm down to do it anytime. You would like to have an interview, another another interview again. I appreciate you. For sure. You stay in contact, definitely. For sure. All right. There you have it. Jimon Henson, Moorhead State alum. Thanks for coming on. Thank you.